Story thirty four from Fifty Famous Stories Retold by James Baldwin. Read for LibriVox.org by Laura Caldwell. Alexander and Bucephalus. One day King Philip bought a fine horse called Bucephalus. He was a noble animal, and the king paid a very high price for him. But he was wild and savage, and no man could mount him, or do anything at all with him. They tried to whip him, but that only made him worse. At last the king bade his servants take him away. "'It is a pity to ruin so fine a horse as that,' said Alexander, the king's young son. "'Those men do not know how to treat him.' "'Perhaps you can do better than they,' said his father scornfully. "'I know,' said Alexander, "'that if you would only give me leave to try, I could manage this horse better than any one else.' "'And if you fail to do so, what then?' asked Philip. "'I will pay you the price of the horse,' said the lad. While everybody was laughing, Alexander ran up to Bucephalus, and turned his head toward the sun. He had noticed that the horse was afraid of his own shadow. He then spoke gently to the horse, and patted him with his hand. When he had quieted him a little, he made a quick spring, and leaped upon the horse's back. Everybody expected to see the boy killed outright, but he kept his place, and let the horse run as fast as he would. By and by, when Bucephalus had become tired, Alexander reined him in, and rode back to the place where his father was standing. All the men who were there shouted when they saw that the boy had proved himself to be the master of the horse. He leaped to the ground, and his father ran and kissed him. "'My son,' said the king, Macedon is too small a place for you. You must seek a larger kingdom that will be worthy of you. After that, Alexander and Bucephalus were the best of friends. They were said to be always together, for when one of them was seen, the other was sure not to be far away. But the horse would never allow any one to mount him but his master. Alexander became the most famous king and warrior that was ever known and for that reason he is always called Alexander the Great. Bucephalus carried him through many countries, and in many fierce battles, and more than once did he save his master's life. End of Story 34 This recording is in the public domain.